childhood. So we develop bonds for survival in childhood. Usually they're with our caregiver, maybe it's a mother or father figure. Um, they're the foundation of our attachment. So when our safety is threatened in any way, we turn to our caregiver for support and protection. In a toxic or emotionally abusive relationship, there is a bonding that takes place um, during this cycle of abuse. The term trauma bonding was coined by Patrick Keynes when he was doing work with sex, on sexual addiction. And he classes it as the misuse of fear, excitement and sexual feelings to entangle another person. Bonding is a process that makes people feel important to each other. So we develop these bonds for survival and they're the, the, the foundation of our attachment. So, I mean, this is why in team building exercises and bonding scenarios, there, there are these techniques that you're taken in a group, um, a, a unique group of individuals and through the experience you bond in a way that you wouldn't do in an office or in a, another environment. People that experience, have experienced a traumatic situation together will always have that bond of survival. So when our safety is threatened in some way, we create bonds, we turn to our team um, for support and for protection. And these bonds can be created within hours. I was watching Sully uh, a week or so ago. I've never, I had never seen it before, but it's about the pilot that safely landed uh, a, a passenger plane on the Hudson River in New York. And he'd taken off, or they'd taken off, and there'd been a bird strike. It, taken, it took two engines out, and he didn't have time to get back to an airport to land safely uh, so he made the decision to land on the river as far as I'm aware I don't know whether it's, cha it's changed but at the time it was the only successful landing on water that has ever been recorded he lands the plane the crew work together they get everybody off uh, it's a January day it was bitterly cold uh, people were standing on the wings uh, they let out the flotation slides and then they waited to be rescued and I think it was 155 people on the plane, 155 uh, people survived. And the captain, Chesley Sullenberger, it says at the end of this film, um, because of the events on the 15th of January 2009, we will be joined in our hearts and our minds together. And that's that bond. That's that bond that happens through trauma. And trauma bonding is why it's hard to leave an abusive relationship. It's, um, it's hard to enforce boundaries and it makes it hard to stay away from people that we've bonded with. The brain uh, controls the body and during this very dangerous love bombing stage, um, it's receiving lots of oxytocin. Oxytocin is a bonding hormone. It can be known as the cuddle hormone or the love hormone. And it's released when we bond socially. It can be released, uh, it can even be released when you're playing with your dog. But oxytocin plays a, a, a large part in, in pregnancy and the birth and breastfeeding. The body releases oxytocin which starts the contraction to start labour, it also softens the neck of the cervix, it helps the uterus contract after birth and it also promotes the mother-child bonding. Oxytocin eases stress and it creates the feeling of calmness and closeness. So in a relationship your brain releases um, at least releases it during physical contact, yeah, whether that's just cuddling or whether that's through sex. Um, it's released when someone shows they trust you. And that, again, could simply just be by talking to you. So we get these release of chemicals. Um, we create strong bonds really early on in a relationship. So when we start um, receiving messages of devaluation, it causes a bit of pain and it causes confusion and it's uh, it's at the end of the relationship where that bond is so strong uh, is why the withdrawal is so painful you turn to your, uh, the person that's abusing you for protection toxic that relationship is about power and control and it's during the idealization stage where they position themselves into being the caregiver they're showing you with the attention the gifts the meals out the days out this manufactured love um that is something that you've never experienced before and you're releasing all this oxytocin and bonding with this person so a toxic relationship is about power and control
It's during the idealisation stage that they've positioned themselves as the caregiver. Um, they're sharing you with love and attention and meals out, days out. They're manufacturing this, this uh, relationship. Um, and it's something that you may never have experienced that amount of attention before. So once they've hooked you up to the drug of choice, which is them, they then start to introduce situations where you're going to release stress hormones. Um, and they do this with the slight put downs and creating drama and jealousy. So when they threaten your safety through their behavior, you turn to them, the abuser, believing they actually care about you, which is releasing even more oxytocin and creating even more bonding. And this is why you are so connected to them. And so when it finishes, you have a really hard time imagining life without them. This pain is real and it's really cruel and twisted. So healing from trauma bonding is about deprogramming yourself from them. And I bet you wouldn't be surprised to know that on average, people go back to that relationship seven to eight times. So that's on average. So it might somebody might do three, somebody might do 12. So it's you have been bonded to this person. You've been tricked into attaching yourself. And it's all out now about unhooking um, and healing each layer. And the first part is believing... Um, an understanding that it doesn't matter what you do or what you've done or what you believe, you know, because you might be going through that cycle of if only and maybe that it doesn't really matter if you said or did anything any differently, you would still be in this place. It isn't your fault, but there is a gift and it's about finding what needs healing and removing and healing the whole wounds so that you can feel amazingly whole, something you may have never experienced before. So if this resonates, drop something in the comments, subscribe, press the little bell. The, um, you'll be notified when the next uh, video is. There'll be some resources on my website, I'm putting some meditations together to help calm the body down because it's that fight, flight, freeze and fawn that get triggered, the, 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 the fear responses that get triggered when you're trying to deal with this. And this is why you go back and you keep going back because the relationship was painful, but it's, it feels more painful being out of it than it does being in it. Sending you lots of love.